Okay, that shot across the room. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so very much for joining me today. So, Oprah, I was almost said Oprah again. Oprah decided to release some more mystery bags. And of course, you know, like, I had to get a couple because mystery bags intrigue me. Maybe I'm a glutton for punishment, I don't know. But I seem to enjoy them. They, I think they had two. See, here's the thing. Pure had them and Ofra had them. And I think they both had two different sizes. I may or may not have purchased both sizes, but it was like 10 days ago. So I'm going to open up this box that I have here that it came in and we're going to find out together. Oh, and before I forget, guys, I do have my 100,000th view giveaway currently going on. It will be lasting for about another week and a half. I'm going to link it hopefully up here if I can remember and down below as well. So please go watch that video, follow the rules and enter because I think it is a pretty good prize and you might want to win it. Okie dokies, I think I did get two. Yep, they have the jumbo and the regular mystery box. And I did uh, use a discount and I believe I got 35% off. So I was super happy about that because I think they're like 25 and 50 or I don't remember. I'm hoping they're still available and if they are, of course, I'm going to link them down below for you guys so you can check them out. Okay, this looks like a small one and it's very nicely packaged in its own little box here. So let's pull the tab and open it up and see what we got. I've gotten these before, maybe two times before, and I've always been very, very happy with the items. Only once did I have a problem with a broken item, and they refunded me, like, the cost. So I've had no issues whatsoever with Ofra. I actually enjoy their liquid lipsticks. It's one of my favorite formulas. And so it just comes very, very nicely packaged. And it's not in a bag, so it is in a box. And there's quite a few things in here. Let's see what we got. So the first thing I am pulling out is a highlighter. I can tell through the bubble wrap. And whatever I have, I'm going to put in the uh, future giveaway. So this is an Ofra highlighter in Pillow Talk. And I'm not gonna open it because I think I have Pillow Talk, but I love it because they put, they got smart, they put a little piece of bubble wrap in here to protect the highlighter from breaking and I've never gotten a broken highlighter since. This is the old packaging that does not make a difference to me. This is a beautiful pink color and if I do have this one this will be going in a future giveaway. I believe these normally sell for like $35 if I'm not mistaken. I got another Ofra lipstick, a liquid lipstick, and this one is in the color Pasadena, which I do not have, and it looks like a gorgeous color. It just got a small angled doe foot applicator. This looks like a, a gorgeous pink color. Absolutely love that. If you have not tried these, get the box for the, this, these alone and hopefully you get a good color. And I'm thrilled about this color that I got. I was afraid I would get a weird color. You know, if not, I would give it to a friend or something. But these are such fabulous formula of lipsticks. I love them. And these are normally $20 each, so we're doing well. I got a little mini godet of the banana powder, which I have not tried their banana powder yet. Banana powder is supposed to be a brightening for underneath your eyes. I do like the way they, whoopsies, <laughs> they come. Did not break, it fell into the bubble wrap. And here it is, they are magnetized, so you can just put it into their Z palettes. I have several of their Z palettes. Obviously, you're really not going to be able to see it, but I wanna see if you can see any of the blurring effects or the softening effects of the powder. It looks pretty nice. I'm excited to try their formula. Ooh, okay, what is this? This says an eye palette. Now, now I'm wondering, is this the big one or the little one? Uh, to be honest with you, I'm really not sure, but this is eye palette, like an iPad. Oh, how cute! It comes in the little box, and it is just a mini palette for like maybe four shadows. So if you wanted to do like a little takeaway kit or something like for traveling and you don't want to bring a big pan or whatever, you can put four little eyeshadows or four of the mini highlighters in here and you have a nice little travel palette. Ooh, and I have an eye primer, eye gel primer. And it's in just for, at least for me, it is my nude skin tone. For those of a darker skin tone, this might be like a concealer, so it would make darker colors pop. But let's see how this is. It feels like a very creamy 
primer. You can't even see it, it said, because it does seem to match my skin tone. I really need and prefer creamy primers because my eyelids are so dry. I do know why that is partially. I use retinols and retinoids on my eyelids. I usually put them on at night and I will push up. That's because I'm trying to um, get rid of whatever wrinkles I do have and prevent future ones. And especially on the eye area, it will dry your eyes out. And that is, I'll deal with a little bit of the dryness to keep the lift of my eyelids, you know? Ooh, okay, I got a copper lip liner. This one is very soft. Some of the ones that I've gotten have been dry, but this one is soft, and that is just a very pretty, like, brownie nude. I would actually wear this all over my lips, as a matter of fact, so that's awesome. I got a little baby pink. I don't know whether the actual liquid is pink, but the makeup fixer. I'm going to try this. I don't know if it has denatured alcohol in it. Now I can tell you this. I know why these fixing sprays have denatured alcohol in them and because it's going to make your makeup stay on and not go anywhere. And for a special occasion like a prom, a wedding, you know, a party that you have to go to, whatever, it's not going to permanently damage your skin that you can't use it for one day. But the daily use of these sprays with the alcohol is what is going to damage your skin. But I'm going to try this on and let's see. I like that it's a little baby one. Let's see what the spray is like. Oh, it looks nice. A little strong. Okay, that shot across the room. Easy does it on that uh, sprayer. You have to like literally hold it across the room. And now I gotta... It smells a little floral, kind of like a rosy scent, but not too, too strong. So when I look at the ingredients and I can actually see them, I will give you a follow-up on it. And then they did send me a lip gloss in Wish, which I am not going to open because I have like about 12 of these from Lancome and I have very similar, almost identical color in it. So I'm not going to open this and this is going to go in a giveaway. Okay, guys, so I just looked it up, by the way. The small mystery box had a value of $120, and it cost $30. The jumbo mystery box is $59 with a value of over $250. As I said, I was able to use a coupon. Sometimes they catch on and they do not let you, but I'm going to list all of it below in the description box. I will be putting this up tonight so you guys have a chance to get it. I'm not sure which one that was, so I'm going to open up the other box and let's find out. I definitely think that would have a value of about $120, so that may be the small one. And this, my friends, is the big one, I think. I mean, it's a bigger box. You know, they used to send them in like, um, just like the bags, like our Ipsy or things like that would come in. Yeah, this looks like a lot more stuff. Look at that. Okay, if I get any repeats, they're going to go into the giveaway, of course. So I do have um, another banana powder, which I'm not going to open. I have another um, mixer, mixer, <laughs> Mr. Fixing Spray Mixer. Oh my goodness, makeup fixer, makeup fixer. Congratulations, Leanne. It is in a different color. I wonder if it's in a different scent. I'm going to keep it closed for the moment. I have another what looks to be highlighter here. Let's see if I have this one. Have you guys tried Ofra highlighters before? If not, they are spectacular. And this one is in Beverly Hills, and I do not have the Beverly Hills one. It is a mix. Let's see if we can get a good angle. It is a mix of five different colors, and I don't mind. Some people dislike having the split pans. With these, I don't mind because I can swirl them together, and I think they're going to make an absolutely stunning color. I love this bronzy one. I put that on my eyes before and it's absolutely gorgeous because that one I do believe is in the Nikki Tutorials one. The Nikki Tutorials one only has like three, but yay. I have another compact. It's either a blush or a bronzer. And this is all the old packaging. And as I said, I don't care that it's old packaging. It's, it's the product that is inside that matters. Ooh, this is the blush in Bellini. I don't have this. Again, they put that little pillow in there, which I'm going to save these because when I send out things, I may want to do that. And look at the pattern. They have like that imprinted, let me back this up here, 
see if you can see that there you go see the texture that is so cool and it looks it's very soft and it looks like a beautiful like peachy blush beautiful for summer it's subtle and it's pretty and it's matte I think I'm going to love this these two here I'd say are like 60 bucks the price of the box and plus I got a discount Ooh, what's this body derm coffee body scrub did somebody say coffee I love body scrubs I love coffee you put body scrubs and coffee together I'm a happy girl like the packaging really cute oh wow look at that oh my do you know what exactly what this looks like almost to the T looks like the lush coffee scrub mask that I just got from my friend Kara it's literally smells like straight up like sugared coffee like espresso though that really rich coffee love let's see I'm just gonna do scrubby scrubbies and let's see what happens I'm gonna take it off the white I have cucumber coffee because <laughs> I have cucumber wipes I tell you my skin feels really nice I have another eye gel primer which I will put into a giveaway I have one of these palettes this is an awesome palette this is just like the baby one and it slides out and you have yourself a nice little palette and this is going to go in a giveaway because I already have one yay this is a mineral loose powder in white diamonds may have mentioned recently in another video that I have been very much into loose pigments these days now this doesn't have a sifter it's just got the plastic so I have to be exceedingly cautious here It does, <laughs> such an idiot. It does have a sifter, but the sticker is completely opaque. And I couldn't say it. I don't have nails, and I couldn't get this freaking thing off. Can you? I can't imagine if you had nails trying to get that off. Oh, wow. You're not kidding with the white diamonds. Holy shnikes. See, now I would wear that as a highlight completely or as an eyeshadow topper or just whatever. This one looks better than the Anastasia um, loose highlighter that I just got. I love this. Here is another liquid lipstick and charmed. I have so many opened that I am not going to open it right now, but that looks like a gorgeous another color that is completely up my alley. Of course, it is settled somewhat in here, but I can fix that quite easily not an issue that looks like another color that is perfect for me here is one in bel air i think i might have bel air already it is more of a peachy nude so i'm not going to open this one either just in case so i could put that in a giveaway i have yet another lip gloss and baby doll i don't think i have this color so i may keep this one this formula is um not really sticky it's not like as smooth or as silicone as some of the other ones i have um, from them but I do like them and they're not they're opaque but not so opaque do, do you know what I mean they're they're gloss <laughs> they're gloss Leanne I think we all know the explanation of gloss we did get one more pencil it is another lip liner in the color cherish that is a beautiful it's kind of a bright pink but I think that I'm going to like that very very much so I would definitely say this is the large one with the $250 value and I would have to agree that it most definitely is without a doubt. I'm not unhappy about getting repeats because I can either give them to my friends or family or put them in giveaways but I think for what I pay for all of this the value is outstanding. I think they do their mystery boxes really well. If you notice they didn't give you the unsellable colors and things like that. They just gave you some good product which I'm so happy about so if you guys are able to get this I'm a said I'm you know I would suggest it I think I 100% believe it is worth the money no doubt to me if you can afford it I will link everything below if you're interested in picking it up it is going to be in 
referral link. No, not a referral link. Like an affiliate link through Magic Links. So I will like make a dollar commission um, if you get it. If you don't want to use my link, of course, please just go to the Ofer website and get it for yourself if you are going to. I have no problem either way, my friends. Thank you guys so much for sharing this with me. Again, I love my mystery boxes and all my makeup subscriptions. I have a few more boxes to open, so get used to the outfit. And um, thanks so much for hanging out with me. I love you guys so very much, and I hope whatever part of the world you're in on and around, I hope you have a fabulous day, a fabulous week, and don't forget to go enter that giveaway. And if you're new here, maybe subscribe, and maybe give me a thumbs up if you would like to, because it helps. It helps the girl out, you know? <laughs> Talk to you later, guys. Bye.